Ho, 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 I'm just not going to, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't been using that cream frequently. I guess this is just like a little vlog version of an update. I don't know, y'all. Some days, and you know how some angles it make it look like. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It's like my underbutt is getting bigger, but this is the part that I want to get bigger. Like, to poke out more. I just don't know what to do. Dr. Miami, please hit me up. I don't know. And then the light coming in and chopping up half of my body. <laughs> but, hey y'all. <laughs> what a way to start a video, huh? I just got out of bed. And I randomly got up and was like, I feel like taking these out my head. So that's what I've been doing. I got like a couple a couple of them out. Right here. Have not been vlogging. I woke up to a text message saying that, um... I haven't seen any new vlogs from you, so you need to get on your job and blah, blah, blah. So I was like, pick up the camera, Shannon, because I have not been vlogging. Um, I really did not want to upload my vlog, my vlog, Miss Day 13, because that video was too long and it sounded so boring to me. And I was just like, I don't want to upload this. But I know that some people were concerned after my last video. And in that video, I talked about um, what was going on more like telling y'all more of what was going on that put me in that place so that's why I kept it I really didn't want to upload it but um yeah and then I have like probably I'll sit down and do like a little story time or something because the night at like from vlogmas day 14 after I got back in from my girls night out some craziness happened so I was gonna vlog it but I'm just gonna sit down and do a story time. It's gonna be a quick story time. So yeah. So I, so okay, you guys. I will come back to you guys later because I have to boo boo really bad. And I would take y'all on the toilet with me, but I know some of y'all don't like that. But um, yeah. <laughs> I love y'all in bed and I was taking out my hair but I had this crazy idea I told you guys that I had a crazy night after I got home from having drinks with Sierra and Desi so I decided to record a reenactment and just imagine that this is that night so of course it, this room would be dark it wouldn't be this much light coming in and my hair wasn't like this y'all saw how I looked in the last vlog so you know how I was dressed that night and whatnot, and you know I was kind of inebriated. You, you just, you know I was. You saw me, and if you watched the other girls' videos, you know I was. So, yeah, y'all just keep watching, and at the end I'll tell you why the heck that was there. So I had just came from having a couple of drinks with my friends and I was just kind of straggling up the stairs because I was, I'm not going to lie, I was intoxicated, y'all. I was. I really was. So I finally make my way up the stairs and to my bedroom door. And I'm like, I'm gonna get in bed, but nah. <laughs> My stomach had other um, intentions, so yeah. After I get that little bit out, I'm like, okay, I'm about to go to bed. I I feel good. I'm asleep good. I just, I feel really nice and free and just lovely right now.
Y'all, I'm laying in bed, and this is when shit got real. Y'all, my damn bed started to freaking shake like a demon was underneath it trying to steal my soul. I thought the Illuminati was after me. I'm looking around in shock like what the hell is going on? What the fuck just happened? I know I'm not this drunk. I know I'm not that lifted. Somebody please explain what the hell is going on. So my first initial thought is to call Blake because Blake is the only one who's going to be able to explain this to me and help me and not judge me. So I call Blake and I'm like, Blake, oh my God, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what just happened. Oh my God, my bed is shaking. My bed is shaking. I think something's under my bed. Oh my God, please, please call me on FaceTime and look under my bed, please. So he calls me immediately when I say that. And I freaking, I'm, I'm panicking and I'm like, please look under my bed. Please look under my bed. And so I put the phone under the bed, you guys, slowly. And guess what? A goddamn hand reaches under, girl, watch it. Look, look at this shit. A freaking hand reaches from under my bed. What the fuck? It was a freaking hand under my bed. A hand. And you know why that hand was under my bed, girl? Best friend. I promise you, my life is like a freaking movie. And if you don't believe that by now, then something's wrong with you. Just, just, the, it was a hand under my bed. So apparently, while I was out having a good time with my girls, having a couple of drinks or whatnot, my special person took it upon himself to climb through my window and hide under my bed. y'all and my ass was so so freaking gone i really thought that some demons had came and were trying to get me i thought they were trying to get me girl i thought my, i thought i was gone i was so scared i'm sitting here calling blake i'm like oh my god blake my bed is moving my bed is freaking moving and i just didn't know what to do so i'm calling him I freaking put him on FaceTime. I put the phone in the bed. Then the freaking hand reaches for my phone. And so the phone hangs up. And I'm just so stuck because I'm so like, I'm just, I'm, just, I'm so like under the influence. I'm, I'm having thoughts. If you, if you follow me on Snapchat, you saw how I was acting. Girl, I was stuck. I was, I was so stuck. I was having thoughts, but I couldn't move my mouth to say what I was thinking or whatever. Girl, I was stuck. So, I'm sitting here like, I just want to, I want to cuss this boy out. I, I want to say, what the heck? What, what was you thinking? Blah, blah, blah. And Blake is blowing up my phone. He's FaceTiming me. He's calling me. And I'm just so stuck, I can't even pick up my phone. And then, when I finally come to my senses and I'm able to respond to him, y'all, this boy done posted on my Facebook telling people that um, if they have my address, call the cops he thinks someone just attacked me this that and the third y'all i'm just so stuck i can't do nothing and i finally cut my face my damn youtube mama pink butterfly and i'm freaking called me trying to figure out what was going on unique done called me she didn't know what was going on she was calling to check up on me so i had i told her what the heck had just happened girl best friend who does this happen to who does stuff like this happen to me me who now every time i come home i look under my bed this happened on tuesday night every time i come home now i look under my bed just to make sure that boy was so worried about me he <laughs> he would not give up i kid you not blake called me every second on the second <laughs> y'all that was some crazy shit 
And then the thing about it is, I didn't have no problem with this dude coming into my house because, like, it was raining. All you had to do was tell me. He didn't tell me that he was going to come into my house. That is scary. He could have been anybody. And then for me to be on the level that I was on, to have my bed shaking underneath me, bitch, I was like... I don't need to do anything anymore. No drinks. No nothing. The roster in me could die. Cause I'm, I'm, I'm over this. I'm over it. I don't know how I come across these people. But I love you, best friend. And you probably crazy too. Because for some reason, I attract the craziest. So... I will see you next time, and I appreciate you for watching. I love you, best friend. See you tomorrow.